how to hold any document in SAP. So first option uh, which we have is go to FB16. Yeah, there is one program we need to run, but before that, uh, we'll see whether we are getting the error uh, to run that program or not. Okay, so give the vendor details here. Give invoice, date, and all. Give GL account. So I am going to give a GL account, purchase account. And the amount as 28,000. Here also I will give 28,000. A uh, whole document happens, basically, uh, I will show you like, um, and INV underscore 001. Then we'll put uh, US rent account. So suddenly now uh, you have entered all this information due to some reason you have to move out of the screen. We have not verified all the information again, but you have to move out of your screen uh, due to some reason. So what you have to do is, so in that case, go and click on whole document. So the temporary document number so the temporary document number uh, i can give any number so i will put it as inv underscore zero zero one and i will click on hold document the so document inc was hold or held okay after uh, your boss has called and you have done all the meetings and all now you will come back and go to fb 60 screen again Go to document and here you have the option of go to post with reference. Sorry, go to let's go back one more step. Go here and click on hold. Yeah. So in the edit, you have the option of held document. Select that option and try to find the document which we have been posted, INV001 and click on continue. Data will be lost. Do you want to continue? Yes. So all the information which we have entered earlier, so is showing up now. Okay, so you don't need to enter it again. Uh, if somebody has called you or due to some reason you want to move out of your screen. So this is okay. Now you can simulate and cross verify all the information you have entered properly or not. And go back and post the document. So this is how uh, the whole document will help you out. Sometimes there is a issue, uh, whole documents will not uh, work. In that case, you need to run uh, one transaction, SC38. Go to transaction SC38. So I don't have the authorization. Uh, so what you can do is, uh, you have to go to SC38 screen I will enter the program name here. So once you add, enter SC38, you have to add the program RFT, RFT. You have to run this program, okay. RFT MP, BLU. So this is a program after SC38, and add this program RFT MP BLU. RFT MP BLU. Run this program and uh, uh, whatever the uh, options it gives, like uh, select no termination, errors checkbox, select that one and execute it.
ഓക്കെ താങ്ക്സ്